Hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. All right, my notes for this part. Uh, well, one's not relevant right now. Well, the other one is um, that opal ring thing that I actually picked up a few parts ago, and I wasn't sure what the accessory actually did. Uh, my notes here say that the opal ring is the accessory that lets you pierce uh, reflect. So that's going to be pretty nice. Dang, that was a lot of damage. Uh, that's gonna be a pretty nice effect. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead, too. <laughs> you gotta love Pinello. Here, here's 15,000 damage to both enemies. I mean, granted, I have the Cherry Staff on, and they're weak to wind, and she's using Aroga, and she has just so many passive buffs with Magic Lores and the Serenity buff, because she's at full health, but... That is just a ridiculous amount of damage. And we're not... This isn't post-game or anything. We're doing... <laughs> we're breaking the uh, standard Final Fantasy damage limit without... Uh, <laughs> without doing... It, without even getting to post-game or special licenses or anything. Oh boy, that's <laughs> that just blows my mind. But it's cool. It, it's fun. It's fun that this game did something like that uh, differently. Um, I kind of want you to not cast Kiraga on something that only has a sliver of health. Thank you. Um, what else do we have here? Do we have a new weapon for Va? Yeah, we have the Koga Blade. Okay, so it... Oh, it's a two-handed sword. It still gives him a little bit of evade. Boost his attack power. We're gonna try it out. Besides, aren't those bats weak to earth or something? Oh no, weak to holy. Okay. Uh... For those of you just joining us, we're still exploring the Lushu Mines on the Antlion Hunt. And when we talked to our petitioner, we got the Site 3 key so we can actually access a deeper region of the Lushu Mines. Which is why these enemies are a lot stronger than um, the previous enemies we fought in the mines. And we have to go to the far end of these mines to uh, get to where our target is. No, oh, those are vampire bats. Transit car number one. Okay, uh, well, let's flip the switch. We rise the gate. Raise the gate. Rise the gate. We re-raise the gate. So that way it can uh, come back to life after we kill it. No way, that can't be right. Uh, okay, so we can't use the transit car because uh, there's something in the way. Well, let's let's go find out what's in the way. Dark crystal. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We don't need to do. If we're gonna run backwards, we're gonna do that when we're done here. Because I don't want to run all the way back and then run all the way forward again just to get the transit car to go all the way back when our destination is forward. Uh, ooh, a teleport crystal. So, oh, hey. Kate. Oh, your brother went even deeper into the mines. Oh, that's wonderful. No, the ant lion scares you. How did you guys even get past all the monsters that were here before? I mean, even the level 8 or 9 skeleton warriors in the beginning part, but now you're, like, this deep into the mines where there's level 40 mines? How are you getting this far? That This does not make sense. Oh, well, it still makes more sense than, uh that insecure Seek who's not being swarmed by all the babes. 
We're not being swarmed by all the babes either. So I guess we killed that overlord for nothing then. That's the way I'm choosing to look at it. Alright, what else do we have? Oh, another uh, minecart. I wonder if we can take that one back. Oh, there's a bat. Oh, there's multiple bats. Alright, oh, treasure down here. I wonder if we're going to get some... Oh, a quarry mode. I wonder if we're going to get some good treasure here. And that's a uh, gate that's blocking us. Is there another treasure this way? Oh, it's a massive gate. <laughs> there must be a switch somewhere. Yes, I can see it. I just can't get to it from this side. Alright, let's see what else we can find. I'm not going to bother playing around with that cart because, well, I don't want to go back right now anyways. No, I didn't... I didn't realize there were two bats there. Okay. If you guys insist. Now, what's over... Ooh, treasure. Is it good treasure or is it it's a biomoat? Not super excited about that, because we have someone that can cast bio. Oh, that looks like a new enemy up ahead. What is that? Killer Mantis, level 43. Were these things in the, uh... The Zertnan Caverns as well? We're seeing some level 40 plus... Ooh, Iga Blade. That's some good treasure. Oh hey, that's the other uh <laughs> that's the other ninja sword. The the level or ninja sword two that I was telling you about. Well we need the ninja sword two license. We're gonna get that right now. Uh the Iga Blade, as you could see there, it's a water elemental attack. So uh or water elemental weapon. So now Vaughn can attack with both water and earth elemental weapons. That's really nice, because those are uh elemental weapons that we don't really have access to too much anymore. I mean, yeah, there's the Aqua Spell, but that's that does pathetic damage in comparison to even Bio at this point. These Killer Mantises, they're um, conveniently weak to wind, and we have the Cherry Staff on, so yeah, we're just gonna deal 12,000 damage just casually and kill the thing. Rod Iron Gate, we need a Site 11 key to open it, so there's an even deeper part to the Lusu Mines. I guess that's why they gave us a Teleport Crystal in here. So that's kind of nice. And we got traps back. Hey, I wonder if I can steal from this guy before Pinello kills it. Oh, we got two things from it. Uh, Earth Crystal and an X Potion. And then we killed it. And there's an Arrow Gub moat. Um, okay, I was going to say that uh, <laughs> that trap did not just fade away and we didn't step on it. At least Pinello and Ash know how to walk around the traps. I, I see the uh, big red dot on the map, so there's our ant lion. I wonder if he's going to be weak to wind as well. Oh, well, all these killer mantises are. That would be really convenient if he was. Um, Pinello is just going to obliterate all the killer mantises, so we're just going to uh, mainly focus on the ant line. Yeah, that one hits all of them. Hit that one. Oh yeah, look at all that. All the mantises. Well, they're not quite dying anymore. Oh, probably because Pinello took some damage in between. Uh, the Aroga hits there. That's okay. Um, Vaughn, that thing's absorbing Earth. Uh, past gameplay me, that thing's absorbing Earth. Stop hitting him with the Koga Blade. Stop multi-hitting him with the Koga Blade. 
No, it's past gameplay me. Just, just stop. Just stop. Switch Vaughn's equipment, or just switch Vaughn. Oh yeah, we're gonna put a decoy on Vaughn so he doesn't go after uh, me. Or well, he does go after Vaughn. Vaughn, stop. Past gameplay me. Stop utterly failing. We're gonna cure to get uh, the Serenity boost back on Canelo because we have to keep up with Vaughn healing the hunt. Oh, it's using Flatten. I love that move. I don't love that move at all. Okay, past gameplay me has finally realized that he's absorbing Earth, so and he's using Earth, so we're gonna use the uh, Dragon Shield that makes us immune to Earth, and put the uh, yeah put the Gladius back on. Yeah, there we go. That does some decent damage. Well, I'm disabled. Uh, Antlion's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't realize we were that close to killing it. Well, that was uh, really simple then. Uh, so let's... Oh. We found the other kid. Who somehow got even deeper amongst all these level 40 plus monsters. Uh, I'm pretty sure the adults already found out. They're the ones that sent us to find you. Oh, you dropped the key into the depths. The depths being the sky. But that's a hint for later. And just for the sake of, you know, not wandering around this entire land of Ivalis, uh to try and find the other key that he dropped. By the way, the other key that he dropped, if you haven't figured out, is a Site 11 key. That's not really a spoiler. It's it's kind of obvious that that's what he dropped. Um, so I did do some research just to find where the key... What was that kind of shaking? I mean, it says washed up on shore far away. That's kind of a hint. But even still, if you knew the, uh, even if you knew the region, it's still a massive, massive region. So uh, I'll just end up warping us there. Well, warping from your perspective, the viewer's perspective. In reality, I'm just gonna stop recording and then start recording when I get to the spot where the key is. Oh, we got expose. That's one of our uh, technique techniques that will um that I'll completely forget to ever use <laughs> that part's true I think that's the one that uh, lowers defense uh, one of the faux breaker techniques yeah we finally find that all right we're back to Nure. children are returned and we got the bubble belt and a sickle blade both of those items are actually very important the sickle blade I'll explain more about later but it's a very nice loot item to have. But uh, we're not. We're gonna end up not selling it till the post game because we don't really need much money anymore. Okay, so the place we want to go to get the uh, Site 11 key is the Fawn Coast. You go around by these people on the map and they're just kind of sitting there talking and. Uh, yeah. But you see the little glimmering light next to them. Yeah, there's a little glimmering light. Yeah, I was not going to go around searching for this all over the Fawn Coast or even other places without without uh, just doing the research and finding out where it is. It's, a, it's actually at the main campsite of uh, the Hunter's Camp here. So it was quick to teleport to. All right. Uh, where else are we going? We're gonna go gonna go back and explore more of that Lushu Mines. Now that we got the Site 11 key, let's just see how deep we can go. And what other goodies we can find. I mean, we already found uh, two really good ninja swords for Vaughn here. Wouldn't that be something if we get uh, another one? Oh, and also off screen, you kind of noticed it there in the gambits. I got the Kiraja 
uh, license for Pinello there. And did that take? I don't think that one took a uh, certain Esper to get. No, it couldn't have because we haven't gotten an Esper recently. Um, but yeah, I think it was just a matter of getting to uh, getting past one of her. Help me out here, quickenings. Yes. And I decided since there's some things here that are weak to wind, I'm just going to set the gambit up to blast everything with Aroga instead of blasting things that aren't weak to any of her elements with uh, ice. So, may as well blast them all with Aroga. Now we're gonna run around. Bats are gonna bother me. But they're not gonna bother me for too long. Eh, we got more treasures to find. A dispel moat. Okay. I'm not selling any of these moats, because, well, I'm not desperate for money. If I was, I probably could. Vanilla, why aren't you killing them in one shot? Do you... You have the cherry staff. You, you don't have full health. Um, Ash, fix it. Thank you. There we go. There's our... <laughs> five-digit damage. Alright, Site 11, and there it is. So we'll use the Site 11 key we just got, and let's see what we find even deeper in this place. Yeah, we don't have a map for this uh, section yet. No, it looks like more of the same uh, killer mantises. And they're still the same level. Perfect. 11,000 health, meet 13,000 damage. Oh, that's just so ridiculous. We got a Gigas hat. I think we got a Gigas hat before when we were in the uh, uh, Barheem Passage. Speaking of which, I'm going to have to travel back there soon to get the Bloodwing and also get the... Uh, Get the other hunts like the Orthos hunt that we've been hanging on to uh, for forever. Because um, you have to you have to come from the uh, other side through the Barheem Passage into the Garmsmith Waterway to get to uh, that hunt. Same with the uh, White Moose hunt. Oh, that was sad. Vaughn, your knife isn't really doing a whole lot. Let's get you on something else. Like one of your, uh, yeah, we'll put... Well, they're both the same attack power, so that's also nice, too. Um, okay, where else do we go? Uh, well, I guess we'll just keep traveling this way. That's a uh, Marlboro type monster. Oh, it's just a basic Marlboro? What level are they? Past gameplay me doesn't even care because they're just getting one shotted by Aroga. Arachi. That's not a. Uh, that's not a sword. That sounds like a sword. Yeah, it's a sword. Um. Oh, it's a. It's another ninja. Oh, it's a ninja sword one. His attack power is 94. Hmm. I know I'm going to want the Yagyu Dark Blade in the Mesa, uh, and I would severely regret picking the Ninja Swords 1 over the Ninja Sword, over those two Ninja Swords there. So, yeah, as tempting as it is for the additional attack power, I'm not going to get that uh, Ninja Sword license, because then, yeah, it's a quickening license. Oh, we got the Zwill Crossblade, so we can use that too. And uh, determine that that's worth getting. Yeah, 87. It's, it's a better uh, wind dagger. So since there's some stuff weak to wind, we'll use that. It's better than that uh, Gladius that we've had. So now we can actually sell the Gladius. We're about to step on that. Dang, that hurt. 
a trap. Yeah. Alright, Phoenix down. Ash, you know what? Just go with a Kiraja. Where is it? Yeah, we're gonna have to sort our list of uh, spells and techniques again. Oh, you, you don't do that. Fake treasure chest while I'm still trying to cure up from the trap. That was like the worst treasure ever. And here's a trap that everyone's gonna step on and die from, and then and then here's a fake treasure. Huh, that bat didn't seem to oh golden skull cap. That sounds like a light armor. No, it's not. It's uh, Mystic Armor. Mystic Armor 12? Dang, that, that, that'll that be nice. I'll get the license for that later. Off camera or something. Um, very sound wave. I'm not fully sure what that does. I mean, it sounds like it would be like a supersonic attack from uh, Pokemon where it might confuse you. I don't know, I don't think I've had that uh, eerie sound wave successfully do anything yet. Not that I really want to. Oh, we're leveling up. We still have another level to go before... Uh... Yeah, we, we see we blocked it. Another level before we switch back. And we can open this gate to uh, act as a shortcut. So that'll be nice when we want to uh, travel back here. Alright, let's see what else we can find here. Just a couple more basic bats. Sorry, I kind of ran out of things to say. I'm just enjoying the uh, Aeroga Blasts at this point. Oh, we've got a nice chain going. I didn't even realize that. Ooh, chain item. Pebble. A pebble is our chain item. The worst chain item ever. We couldn't steal from it, and now it's dead. And now it's just called Bug. Like, we've had a lot of... Uh, you know, somewhat unique enemy names, but this late into the game, we're finding basic bug. Like, really, they couldn't have come up with a different name for it? Uh, you don't want me coming up with names. I, I was going to throw out suggestions, but no. No, those will, those will sound just as lame. Oh, we have uh, friends back here. Pinello? Are you doing anything? There we go. And now, here's the one Vaughn was targeting earlier. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just pretend you're a challenge. Alright, and... No, we're not going to go that way yet. We're going to look down this hallway. This hallway is boring. So let's go this other way that's slightly less boring. Ooh, but what's down there? Well, we'll have to find that out. Uh... Are we going to find that out next time? I don't know. We're so close to the end of this video here. Really gotta watch my time before the video just kind of cuts me off. Uh, level 59 enemies. 27,000 health. We are not doing this right now. Okay, so that is what is down here. I'm gonna meet you guys someplace else next time, because we are not doing this. Nope, not even gonna try that. 
So that is the addition to the Lucy Vines.